Yahweh continues questioning Eob. Eob chapter 41. Canst thou draw out Leoyathan with a fish hook, or press down his tongue with a cord? Canst thou put a rope into his nose, or pierce his jaw through with a hook? Will he make many supplications to thee, or will he speak soft words to thee? Will he make a covenant with thee, that thou shouldst take him for a servant forever? Wilt thou play with him as with a bird, or wilt thou bind him for thy maidens? Will the bands of fishermen make traffic of him? Will they part him among the merchants? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons, or his head with fish spears? Lay thy hand upon him, remember the battle, and do so no more. Behold, the hope of him is in vain. Will not one be cast down even at the sight of him? None is so fierce that he dare stir him up. Who then is he that can stand before me? Who hath first given to me that I should repay him? Whatsoever is under the whole skies is mine. I will not keep silence concerning his limbs, nor his mighty strength, nor his goodly frame. Who can strip off his outer garment? Who shall come within his jaws? Who can open the doors of his face? Round about his teeth is terror. His strong scales are his pride, shut up together as with a close seal. One is so near to another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They stick together so that they cannot be parted. His sneezings flash forth light and his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. Out of his mouth go burning torches, and sparks of fire leap forth. Out of his nostrils a smoke goeth, as of a boiling pot and burning rushes. His soul kindleth coals, and a flame goeth forth from his mouth. In his neck abideth strength, and terror danceth before him. The flakes of his flesh are joined together, they are firm upon him, they cannot be moved. His heart is as firm as a stone, yea, firm as the nether millstone. When he raiseth himself up, the mighty are afraid. By reason of consternation, they are beside themselves. If one lay at him with the sword, it cannot avail, nor the spear, the dart, nor the pointed shaft. He counteth iron as straw, and bronze as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee, Sling stones are turned with him into stubble. Clubs are counted as stubble. He laugheth at the rushing of the javelin. His underparts are like sharp potsherds. He spreadeth as it were a threshing wain upon the mire. He maketh the deep to boil like a pot. He maketh the sea like a pot of ointment. He maketh a path to shine after him. One would think the deep to be grey-haired. Upon earth there is not his like that is made without fear. He beholdeth everything that is high. He is king 
over all the sons of pride. Then he Orb answered Yahweh and said, I know that thou canst do all things, and that no purpose of thine can be restrained. Who is this that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore have I uttered that which I understood not, things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. I will demand of thee, and declare thou to me. I had heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye seeth thee. For what reason I abhor myself, and repent in dust and ashes?